those 267 five-star reviews on Say, I'm just not gonna be one of them. I'm just not gonna be one of them. Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, a guide to cleaner, greener beauty, skincare, and beyond. I try these products out for you and share my honest reviews so you have a better idea of what to buy and what not to buy, basically so you don't waste your money on stuff you're never gonna use. Talking about the Say Air Set Powder, so let's dive right into it. Here we go. All right, so I purchased this product. We're getting my fully honest opinion over here as always. If you like that thing, hit the like button. Thank you so much for that. It helps support the channel. Now I'm gonna walk through five things that I want you to know before you buy it. Links to this product and anything else that I mentioned will be below. Links to the full scorecard post will be below as well. There are three shades available. I have this in the shade translucent. I mean, it's, it's not translucent. There's still a little bit of color in here. It's slight pigment in here. The first thing I wanna to talk to you about are the ingredients. This is gonna be pretty quick and easy. Mica and silica are up front in this formula. Mica is ethically sourced, which they mentioned. Say is fantastic about doing things like that. I totally appreciate it. A lot of this is PCR. They break down exactly what's PCR, what isn't, what you can recycle and curbside. Every county and state is different. I just don't want any more plastic. I don't care if it's PCR or not. There so. is squalene in here. It has a patented aerated cream technology. So it reminded me a little bit of what the Kosas cloud set talks about. It has a mousse that's been made into a powder. It's supposed to be more hydrating, moisturizing. Say claims that it moisturizes and leaves the skin plump and smooth. No, I have not seen that yet. I've been using it for almost two weeks now. I haven't seen plumping or smoothing as a result of this powder. Mind you, I have an arsenal of other products that I use for moisturizing, so I wouldn't rely on this. I don't think it's hurting that, and I didn't find it drying, but Plumping and smoothing is a claim for a setting powder. I don't know. I'm skeptical. The mica is supposed to provide luminosity. I saw a little bit of luminosity when I swatched it. It's very subtle. I don't even know if it showed up on camera in the B-roll. Um, I didn't see as much when I applied it onto the face, but I think that had to do a little bit with something else, which I'm gonna tell you in a second. Caprol glycol, which is a component of coconut oil. Adding that as a call out, because some people really like to know when anything coconut is in anything that you apply on your face. And they use EcoCert titanium dioxide in the may contain portion of their ingredients list. So some people are very cognizant of that ingredient as well. I'm not worried about it, but I wanted to let you know. Next thing I want to talk about is the application, which is key. What products do I use? Uh, what tools? Is there a plume of powder? All the things. I saw zero plume of powder come out. You can open this cap. You will not see that floofy thing fly all over the place, and then you inhale it, and it's like a hot mess. There is a fine mill to this powder. It is not the finest that I've tried. I'm not sure if that's because of the moisturizing ingredients. There's a bit more of a weight, I should say. Maybe it's not the size of the powder, but maybe it's more of the weight. It doesn't feel like it slides right on like other silica based powders that I've tried. It could also be the mica inside. The 14E is the one I'm thinking about. It's pure silica, so it slides better. Random, I found it a bit tricky to get out of the sifter if you open it and then you're just trying to shake it. So advantage, you don't have a plume of powder. Disadvantage, it doesn't really come out that easily. Turn it upside down, tap it a little bit. You get the powder in the cap, up a fluffy brush into the cap, and you're good to go. Big fluffy brush, it doesn't have to be big, it could be mid-sized as well if you don't want it all over and you wanna just kind of spot check with the powder, that's what this means. Under eye application, I had trouble with. I just, I could apply it easily there, but it showed some texture, but I'm getting ahead of myself. And this translucent shade did give a bit of a yellow cast on top of any other complexion product that I had underneath. Not so much on tinted moisturizers, or SPFs, it would add something really nice here, actually. It worked for me on the face. It worked against me when I was using this to set under eye, which is really primarily where I like to use setting powder because I have combo skin. It doesn't get too oily. I'm not trying to mattify. Little bit of a setback there. Overall, on the scorecard, it got a three out of five. Finish, 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 finish. Like I said, tried for two weeks. The finish is where it lost me. The claim is that it's supposed to provide a velvety finish with this aerated cream technology. I did not see that. I tried every tool imaginable by pressing it with a sponge. I tried fixing what I had on underneath because sometimes that does absolutely make a difference if you have oil on or if you have a cream-based moisturizer. It just, just did not look right. 
So yeah, those 267 five-star reviews on Say, I'm just not gonna be one of them. I'm just not gonna be one of them. What I did see for finish, and you'll see a close-up, it wasn't as much of the feathering as it was kind of settling oddly. It went on and started to spread out a little bit, but I don't know, it was separating or grabbing onto things. I'm not sure which one, probably grabbing on and creating texture where there wasn't, but it wasn't that lifted feathering. So from far away, it looked really good. Up close, and not even that close, skin did not look like skin. Because of that, it did look cakey, and one of the claims is that it's not gonna look cakey. Again, from far away, it did not look like I had Bisquick powder on my face at all. It's just when I saw it up close, it did look odd. Maybe not even cakey, whatever you want to call it, it just didn't look good. The luminosity I mentioned earlier, that was kind of there, but it was overshadowed by that weird finish. So finish, sad, two, on five on the scorecard. I think that this actually did a good job with controlling shine, muting the shine a little bit without looking too matte. It's not mattifying. There is that luminosity, very subtle. There was some blurring as well from afar. Just up close, kind of, but no. But really back to shine and controlling that, I think it did a really good job. If you have oily skin, this could work for you. I just don't know why it doesn't play well with my skin. For shine control, it received a four to five on the scorecard. And okay, back to the wear test. Does the finish get better? Did it improve throughout the day? Did it melt in the way I hoped it would? It got a little bit better, a bit improved, but it just didn't work for me. Sadly, it was my Hail Mary. I thought, okay, after a couple hours, it would really start to take effect. Not so much. So yeah, wear test wasn't the best. It wasn't the worst because of the shine control. That is where it won. Shine did not show up if it was, I mean, it's really hot here, so it helped keep that at bay. But overall for finish, it just didn't look so great. It received a three out of five on the scorecard, which brings me to my final score, a 12 out of 20, which is crazy because so many people are obsessed with this powder. So if you're one of them, let me know. Let me know how it's working for you and your skin type. Maybe you found a better way to apply it. I'm all ears. Is it gonna make Brits picks? I try hundreds of products out. This is the one pager on my site where I share my curated list of current favorites. No one can pay to be on the list. So is this gonna be on that list? Obviously it's not gonna be on the list based off of this review. I will keep testing it to see if there are other ways to apply this and make it better. And there you have it, that's my honest review. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, please take two seconds, hit that like button, subscribe. If you wanna see reviews, I come out every week. I'll see you right back here real soon. Until then, bye.